three top level uh, findings that, that I think are both um, interesting, but also relatively consistent with uh, historical findings. Uh, so the first one was, you know, what, what is Cloud Foundry uh, at its core, right? It's, it's about reducing software development cycle time. And it turns out when a community builds software that's designed to reduce cycle times, it in fact, in fact reduces cycle times. Um, so, you know, before using Cloud Foundry, 65% of the respondents were indicating that it could take up to, you know, one to six months uh, to go from, um, you know, idea to, to production code running and, and supporting users. And then after implementing Cloud Foundry, um, nearly 70%, so 69% of the respondents are saying it takes somewhere between three weeks to less. Um, and importantly, uh, just over 20% of those respondents say that they can they can go from you know initial code um, to running in production in less than a day. This is not just for websites and you know some microservices. Th these are it includes mission critical software. So 47%, right? Nearly half of the respondents are saying that they're they're running mission critical software through that same type of high velocity cycle using Cloud Foundry. I think most importantly for for our community. Um, while, while they're focused on developer experience, they've also made a major shift over the course of 2020 to, to make sure that we, we bring that developer experience to Kubernetes and also spend a lot of effort integrating other cloud native open source projects. Um, and so what we saw was that 57% of organizations are already using Kubernetes and Cloud Foundry together, right? So these are generally composite applications, right? The custom code that you're writing being pushed to Cloud Foundry, um, integrated with backing services that might be deployed to Kubernetes. So our users are going to see a big benefit as they adopt the, the new architecture. Um, but also interestingly, 30% are already using Istio, 55% are already using Prometheus, um, and then another 30% are already using FluentD, right? So these are, these are other projects in the cloud native ecosystem, open source ecosystem. Um, they're already in place. There are things that are being integrated with Cloud Foundry or really making up core parts of our architecture going forward. Um, and it's great to see that, you know, not only is our community making a good shift to uh, where, where users are already adopting other projects, um, but there's a lot of uh, symbiotic relationship we can have with those teams.